think of the real Penny when you met her? What sort of person is she? She is straight ahead. She is comfortable in her skin. Certainly with the passage of time and being able to review her life, I mean, it is the strangest thing I can only imagine to sit with the actress who's going to play you. It's weird enough to have a film made about you, but to sit and, and partake in that was fascinating for both of us. It was uh, exciting and a little concerning. And I didn't know much about horse racing. And I was jumping right into, that's like saying I don't know much about rock and roll, but I'm going to play Elvis. You know, I, I'll, I'll try to pull it off. And here I was meeting her. And uh, she didn't know much about films and actresses, so we hadn't really heard about each other. <laughs> and and uh, it was a wonderful starting point because it was without any uh, superstitions or rumors or big introductions. I just flew by myself, stayed overnight, woke up in the morning, spent the day with her. We both took naps. Then we met again in the evening. And it was a full day, and we got to spend some time with her daughter, who we portray in, in, in the film, of course, younger. And um, we had a wonderful conversation about motherhood and being a woman and um, just life's journey. And I actually got to sit with Penny and watch the footage of her life, her experience, these triple crown races that are still archived and available to see, to, to sit with her and watch her still into the experience. Because even if you've never heard of Secretariat and you just go on to uh, the internet and, and look at these races, you get a goosebumps and sh chills and you're moved emotionally by the passion and the potential of this creature that nobody could imagine before it had ever been done. He invented a whole, well, his record is still untouched in a lot of ways. Now, t t take us back to the beginning. When she was a housewife in Denver. Yes. This is the 70s. Yeah. Uh, what happens here? Well, it's an interesting um, reality that Penny was a housewife uh, with four children. And bringing that to the screen, we haven't filmed that aspect of Penny's life yet. We're actually on a film set, so we keep hearing all the engines. Um, but um, it's, it was harder in those days to be a woman of ambition and to have confidence in your vision for yourself. And like this profession, being an actor, for horse racing, you have to go and be where the races are, be with the training and the taking care of the horse and, and participate. So you have to be away from your family and that's something that's really painful for a mother because there's an endless amount of responsibility and guilt. And in that era, it wasn't considered uh, normal to work and be a mother. Uh, we did the math and figured out, um, so one second, I'll let this thing go by. When we, when we looked at um, what it was like to be married in the 50s and come together in the 50s and how much had changed uh, going into the 1970s, that informed their marriage and raising children in a different world than the one they grew up in, daughters especially. Um, it, it's, it's a very strong undercurrent of that, that's hard, that's hard, especially for husbands, I think, to deal with the emancipation of women. Now, <clears throat> the, she left Denver though, to come to Kentucky uh -huh. to a complete, to another whole, <laughs> It's another whole men's world. It's like a, it's That's true. That's true. Um, 
it was a pretty new idea for a woman to get into this field. Um, she did inherit it from her father. Um, I understood very much what that's like to have a very close relationship with your father and really want to live up to your father's standards of, of life and work and it's almost like you're your father's son as much as of course you're the daughter but when you inherit that gene that je ne sais quoi of of, of a work ethic uh, you know um, and that's that was true for, for me with my father and for Penny with her father and she wanted to salvage the vision and the dreams that her father had uh, she was one horse away, one horse away. And somehow she knew that. Somehow she knew that she could literally save the farm, which is an expression, but she could literally save the farm, bring her father's dreams come true, inherit the mantle of the family gift, as it were, for, for this horse breeding, and validate herself as a human being, irrespective of her gender, and be a role model for her children, all in one shining moment. So that's sort of her personal human side of the Secretariat story. Now, she was an amazing gambler, wasn't she? Well, if you look at her options, <laughs> she didn't have much else to do but say yes to her own opportunity. I mean, what was she going to do, chicken out and run away? and? not try. I, I, I do respect her so much for betting on herself that way and I think we regret much more in life the chances we we run from and the opportunities we don't take because how many do you get in life? And this one became so much larger than life in the in the historical sense. Uh, there's no way to know that but if you don't try well, you cheat yourself, you know. You cheat history sometimes. Story-wise, can you, can, you, can you tell us what exactly was at stake at, at that moment? What was the big gamble on? Um, I don't know if I can do that justice. I would say we have all this equipment moving around that's just not being filmed, so it sounds like we're on a highway. But um, I think you should ask me the question again, and I'll do my best to... Um, what was at stake at the time? There was, what, what, what were the pressures on, on her? What was, what, what was going on around her? Well, Penny had a lot on her shoulders. Um, her father's health was diminishing, and in fact, in the middle of the secretariat years, her father died. And she had already been hoping and trying to convince her family to join her in this vision of the possibility that with a winning horse they could accomplish everything. Um, solvency in their company, uh, dignity and repair to the farm and uh, the good name of, of their horse breeding farm to continue. But also I think there's something about when a parent dies, there's a certain window into one's own legacy. You know, you, 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 you see the, the, what you've inherited and you want to contribute your stamp in, in, in your children's life and to, and to be in a power of example.